every day matters. So make sure you do your best every day. Seriously, this is so crucial. This is so important. This is just a reminder. I just want people to know that life is precious and you got to have goals in life. Normally, I know some of you don't really value like you don't really value the goals for your life. You don't really like, like maybe some don't even appreciate the life that they have. It's sad. However, it's true. Most people live the life that they hate. They live the life that they don't really like. And I don't know if that's you, but however, I'm sure it's not you. But if it's you and if it's not you, stick still because I just want to share some today. <laughs> Like today, I don't really have like much to share. But however, I just want to share this one thing. This one thing is called G-O-A-L. So it's goal. Most of you have goals and some of you have a goal. And that's not bad. The bad thing though is not accomplishing them or even not knowing how to stack them. Because, you know, stacking, you have to have like, you know, multiple stages because life is full of so many events. Life is full of so many things that are just happening. Some some stuff happened just spontaneously and others just happen just like that. And the one thing that you have to realize is things move fast, a lot faster than you can even imagine. So when you have a goal, you have to make sure that it goes with that time. The goal has to have a time frame. So you have to set goal and to set a time to for you to achieve that goal so let's say you say by sunday those are like short-term goals by sunday i'm gonna do this and you have to do it on or before sunday i'm gonna categorize goals into different parts but you're gonna have short-term goals you're gonna have long-term goals so just two categories or two parts short-term and long-term so you might ask what are the ones that have to be put in a short-term category? And what are others that have to be put in a long-term category? It's a good question. Good, good, good question. However, what I can say is making sure that you know what matters in your life, like priorities. Something that is a priority means it has to take the first place. It has to be done before other stuff. You have to put that first. So from the goals that you might have, whether short-term or long-term, you have to make sure that there are some priorities. Like can be, you can have 10 short-term goals. However, one has to come first. Or other goals or some goals have to come before the others. So how do you know that? So it will just depend on whatever you want to accomplish. And again, this is just a bro video i'm gonna go deeper into it like in more series of this if you you guys want just comment below just comment goals comment goals or g-o-a-l and maybe i can just go uh, through this topic because it's really a big one and i'll make more videos about it so you have to know okay do i have to do this does it really matter if i do this and uh so don't be confused. This is not a to-do list. This is just a, a goal setting. So you setting goals. I'm not really a big fan of setting goals. I'm just a fan of like spotting goals, just, you know, picking your goals and knowing what you have to do and just go after them. However, uh, in this way, you have to be organized. So you have to know which one comes first. So before you just, you know, just jump and do it, uh, I'll advise just you, you take a piece of paper or you take a computer or anything. I still like to write. So uh, you can just put it, uh, some bullet points or some numbers and you just write. Okay, just put two parts, A and B, short term, long term. Then you're going to have to put some numbers in the short terms, uh, short term ones. So you're going to have to start with uh, the first one that you're going to start with. I don't know how... Maybe it's going to be go to the gym, <laughs> uh, making sure that I lose um, eight pounds or 80 pounds, no matter, depends. I'm just picking some, some random goals here. Some people may have those goals. Some people may, okay, uh, just uh, walking uh, 10 miles a day, that's a goal. So 
that is something that if it's today, that means you have to do it daily. So it depends. That's why I say, you know, short term goals, there are some stuff that are repetitive and uh, you have to achieve that. However, in those ones, when that, that's when uh, the stackability comes in. When I say stackability, I mean like I mean like uh, you have to stack your goals, so you don't have to do the same thing over and over. Yeah, although like most people love it, uh, but sometimes you you have to do the same thing and just change a little bit. You know, just slight it doesn't have to change like a totally different thing, but just do almost the same thing but in a different way. If I can say that, so you may say today I'm gonna walk two miles. And then tomorrow, maybe this week or this month, I'm going to work two miles. Then whenever you finish your two miles, then you can go, okay, let's say 2.5 or three or four, depending on how you're going to set that. Then um, after you can say, okay, um, maybe I want to lose weight or gain weight. (laughs) Depends, you know, (laughs) that one is a joke. Anyway, uh, Lose, losing weight or gaining weight. Gaining weight maybe uh, through like, you know, uh, weightlifting and losing weight through the same process or through uh, like a different type of, you know, uh, the way that you, you eat, all right? So you have to make sure that you have to say all of those stuff. And then you now after those big ones and then you, you'll put them maybe on long-term, maybe, okay, I want to uh, buy a house. That might be a goal for some people and that might not be for other people. So here we're not we're not like uh, mocking other people or just saying something that, okay, these people are like fortunate or what. Uh, so just imagine that, okay, everybody is, is the same, which is it's an irony. But so like everybody will never be the same because we're totally different people. We think different, we act different in so many ways. Um, so equality is something that is ideal. Yeah, some people still dream of it. However, yeah, one day it may may not come, but I, I'm not sure it will because we're really different and you have to accept the reality. So what I'm saying here is just big goals, like buying a house or maybe um, you want to climb the Mount Everest mountain, you know, like, you know, the Everest, right? For people who love traveling, maybe you want to, you know, want to go to a certain destination and those may vary because you know from people to people from environment to environment it's like different type of of minds different types of of you know accomplishments because the goal the goal's goal (laughs) or the goal's objective is for you to bring you something of value so it can be uh joy it can be uh uh, fulfillment when i say fulfillment it, it's so many things coming from there so it can be you being happy you being joyful you being like content with what you have and not really content to like you to the point that you you become complacent but content to the point that you appreciate what you have content to the point that you you love what you what you have you love what you do you love you know you're full of abundant love you know you know all the stuff that comes with it so what i'm saying is that goal has to have a goal to bring you more than what you have or to make you the person you want to be to make you more than what you are right now to get you to where uh you are not right now you get what i'm saying so just think with me here so what i'm saying is well, those big ones, you're going to have to also arrange them according to the time because, you know, days go faster. Uh, the time flies, the wind blows and all right, no, I'm not talking. So what I'm saying is days go faster and all the stuff uh, that matter, you have to make sure that you really focus on them. So focus is important here. However, when you're setting goals, time is important when you're setting goals. So they have to be time uh, uh, timely proportion and like uh you know short term long term and also you have to to think uh backward so whenever you are you're setting goals you need to think backward don't think like okay i'm here right now i want to go there no think like you're already there and now you want to have to see yourself every day see like okay 
still not there. How, what do I do to go to, to like to be that person? So imagine you're going on uh, just for a walk or maybe just going around downtown. You just uh, looking around and then you just see some suits or maybe the kind of clothes you like or kind of stuff that you want to buy. However, you don't have those stuff. What do you want to do? So you want to, okay, for me to have these, maybe you can go around and maybe try, take some pictures. I don't know. Just, you know, just so you can feel what it's like to be in that moment. What it's like to have those stuff. What is, what it's like to feel that way. Uh, and then now you have to work towards it. So now you have to work because now you have already felt it. I'm not saying like, it's not necessary to do that, but however, it helps in some way. And so many of you were, agree with me that it really helps in some ways like to experience things and then go get them not experiencing in a way like okay you're trying like a boru or some no it's not that type of thing i'm not talking about that i'm saying is like like you're trying things at the store like you're trying thing in the shop you're th- uh, trying th- uh, stuff but you're not buying them like right away but you're just trying just to feel the thing you know you're just trying just to be there and see like, oh, wow, this is really amazing. This is great. I can really have this. And that particular thing is helps you to be in the moment, to have that mindset and say, okay, to, to envision that. Because most people, I mean, pretty much everyone, uh, you cannot want to have something that you've never imagined. To see may be different, but maybe imagine maybe oh and also the imagination comes with the vision vision might not be just you looking at it like with the naked eye but you just are uh, having having the the picture of it in your mind so it might look different whenever you get it but maybe when you have the picture you still can you know shape that and see how things will move all right so the vision the goal and a lot of stuff so a lot of stuff to talk about seriously if you guys want me to talk about any of these stuff these concepts in depth uh, make videos separately like separate videos of, of each one of them just let me know in the comments just write either goals just write um vision just write uh you know a lot of stuff anything any subject that you want me to talk about all right so now when you set those ones you already have your short term goals you already have your long term goals so now you have to start with your short term. It doesn't mean that because it's, you have to start with both. It doesn't mean because it's long term that you have to wait. Long term means that it's going to happen after years. However, you have to work on it. Because I see so many people struggle with this because they think like if they're going to do something in five years, they have to wait for those five years to, <laughs> to be there. Like they have to wait for five years. No, if you're going to do something in five years, 10 years, 100 years, 20 years, you have to start doing it right now. Because for a tree to bear fruits, uh, that means somebody planted, like somebody put a seed in the soil for, for the tree now today to bear fruits. So many people are just there to reap. And little or just small percentage of people are there to sow. So you have to be a sower and the reaper at the center but you don't have to to re- you 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 have to make uh, sure that you get used to to reap what you sow all right so it's not in a in a sense of like the bad thing or anything but just anything in general like uh if you want to look at it like in in that way you know having like the bigger picture in front of you so you have to make sure that you reap what you sow so start sowing now with a short term long term study now Start it now. Get started. Comment below. Get started. Oh, I'm getting started. You know, just so you come back again on this video, you remind yourself. All right. But what I'm saying right now is just you make sure you, after you pick them, you start now, you put an action there. So, you know, goals will remain goals. All right. If you don't act on them. All right. They will remain goals. They will just be the, like a mood board. They will just be a like vision board or anything that you're going to say. Maybe put like, your, you know, wallpaper or desktop background or computer or whatever so you just have to make sure you act on them if you don't then they will just be words on paper or words in your documents or just ideas in your mind all right but you have to act on them every day every single day whether short term or long term so because that fulfillment you have to have it most people 
uh, become miserable because not because they it's a lack of money, but they can become miserable because they are not fulfilled. They they are not living uh, the stuff they say they say uh, they say that they're gonna live, and and they get like this uh, kind of feeling that's called frustration. When you get frustrated, it's not that because somebody offended you or it's not because somebody died or whatever. It's just because most of the time it's because you're not doing what you say you're going to do. And you feel that you feel bad because you didn't do it. And also you feel bad because you know that no results are going to be, you know, gotten from anything. So you won't see that stuff come to life. You won't make it happen. And that bring frustration. So you want to be that kind of person? Good for you. Go. This is not your video. All right. See, if you want to be a person who likes to take action, uh, you already have your goals, short term, long term, whatever. Uh, you already set the timeline, like the time frame or whatever. You have like one year, two years, one month, one day, like one hour. Depends. Then you're going to have to act on them. Action plans will just give you, uh, we just make things easier for you. Not not easier to the point like it's really like easy easy but i think like it would just help you to have like a pattern or know what you have to do in, in order to accomplish or you know fulfill those uh goals all right so here uh that action plan has to be you know realistic pretty much so that's why first of all your goals have to be realistic goals it's good to dreams and uh, it's good to dream realistic goals it's good to dream and dreams are free so you gotta have to dream as more but just make sure in your dreams you have to make sure you put a little source it's just a little bit of uh, reality into it however uh it doesn't have to match everybody's reality right so because most people try to exaggerate and be like oh that's that's crazy yeah most yeah it might be crazy for you but not crazy for like for me because i can see how i'm gonna do it so whenever you, I'm, I'm saying reality here just fit it to your your reality i'm not saying like the mainstream reality the people people's realities um, uh, like people's projections no no fit to your reality and just be true to yourself all right because most of the time you can lie to yourself too so you have to be the last person to lie to yourself uh don't cheat your mind <laughs> All right, so like, make sure you don't lie to yourself. Be true to yourself and keep it real so that whatever you say, you're going to accomplish and you depart in or the time frame that you already set. Make sure you follow that and you do it. And then the next thing that's going to come there, then it's going to be discipline. You're going to just have to do it every day. The, the, even when you want it or even when you don't want it, you have to make sure you do it. So you're going to have to add discipline on top of it. And discipline will help you to do it, all those stuff and do it every day. You know, you know, the, the stuff like you do stuff every day and you don't see anything. Discipline will help you do the same thing tomorrow and the next day, the day after the next day. Discipline will help you there because some people are just there on the shiny things. They just want to see the result faster. They are not patient. Patient has to be your friend. Whatever, uh, no matter how fast or slow uh, the process is, you still have to be patient because uh, patient people eat. Just write it down in the comments. All right, so you know what I'm about to say there. So you have to be patient. It's not. It's not just a saying. Oh, it's it's true because if you don't have patience, then there's nothing that you can do because some some stuff take time and most of the great things take time. So you really have to be patient. This is a must, all right? You have to be patient. You have to be an action taker. You have to take action. And you action, you, before you take action, you write it down so you know the steps on what you're going to do. Then from there, you're going to have to do the same thing with a little bit of twist every single day. Same thing. Be, be Enjoy the boring stuff, right? Enjoy it. Just enjoy the boring stuff. So you just have to do that pretty much every day. All right. All right. So that's it. So and as a recap, I'm gonna say, like, okay, you set the goals, short term, long term. 
then you set the you you try to experience some of it like you can not all of them you just try to experience it i give an example like you're going to the store and trying out one outfit that you like you can go uh, and try something you know fancy not really maybe it can be a hoodie like this by the way go to www.gomagia.com and get your yourself some merch all right you've been wondering oh like maybe wanting to buy some stuff that is high end and good and made by great people all right and uh maybe you're looking at like uh, some apparel companies some four-way companies you'd be like oh no i can't find something that i can stuff first like afford or anything that is really great for me or anything so if you like like you you want to just you know stay fly have a good style and dress dress well dress well feel good all right and get yourself some stuff that is you know casual formal just go to www.gomagear.com and get to your surf some merch you know treat yourself right all right so and also don't forget if you want to like a uh, promo or anything just message me on instagram i'll see if we there's something that i can help you with and uh, that will help so coming back to our video we just i was saying like you go there you try some stuff all right can be a shoe can be a car car ride maybe test drive <laughs> can be uh, anything not not only materialistic it can be an experience it can be like a whole traveling experience it can be like going to the uh to the rivers and maybe have a dive it can be like uh going on top of a mountain and just see the world around and see how the atmosphere is all right the altitude you know you know fix your al fix your altitude and your attitude all right so what i'm saying is uh just make sure that you do all the stuff that you can some you can others you can some you might be limited maybe with financials or maybe time or any other thing but however those are can be excuses don't make excuses on some stuff because uh there's so many ways to you can make money so 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 many ways you can make money and if you want me to talk about it also just write down in the comments however you can also dm me on instagram on our we just go back and forth in a conversation. Maybe I can help you. All right. So what I'm saying here, just experience some of the things firsthand and then now uh, reverse engineer. So think backwards on how you're going to accomplish them. So if you, somebody think like this, if somebody is in a position, uh, if I want to be there, you have to work their way. Uh, you have to work their way, right? So how do they think? What do they do? I'm not saying copy them. <laughs> just be you but you just have to know just the basics of stuff like the mindset is, can be the same however the person is different uh or the way some of the things they might uh they may be doing uh may add to the stuff that you think you can do just to amplify them think of a way to amplify stuff like if you some people see me may get inspired so others may not others may just get a little bit of something from this video and apply to their daily life and change and others may get the whole stuff and apply because like everybody has like a bucket some it's full some is half full for others it's still empty for others it's just like you know almost full and stuff so a little bit of stuff that you add into it but you have over it you have to be picky uh picky in a way that you have to you know put more quality and I just consume too much quantity, right? So I'm an advocate for quality over quantity, no matter whatever. I, I don't know what you're gonna say about this, but I, yeah, I love that. I just love it. You like quantity, that's up to you, but don't, this is not up for debate. So we, I'm not here to argue with you. So everybody has their own reality. However, that's it, that's, it is what it is, right? So what I'm saying here is um, after you take out, uh, you sit down, like you, you put out or lay out the actions now you just have now to act on it on a daily how do you do that you have to discipline yourself discipline is when you have to do stuff that uh whenever you you uh, whatever you want or don't want you still have to do them so you may feel sleepy as like oh shit i, I need to have to I, I need to run this uh you know these three miles or four miles oh snap i need to walk oh i need to accomplish this or maybe i have to 
to travel this place or maybe I have to and then now there are so many things that may come your way like some some stuff to distract you some stuff not to distract you so discipline will help you to you know overcome some of those stuff so discipline appropriate discipline will have to help you and also all of this you know you can have goals discipline and everything and other stuff however there's one piece of uh like information that you're gonna have to to have is accountability uh because you can have all the base stuff and all the great things and you can have that discipline and do some stuff however uh if you lack accountability it may not work <laughs>